At first glance, you might not realize these two former row houses have been around since the mid-1850s. The building is home to Cruz and Tangos here in the Church in Wellesley Village, and Toronto City Council has just given it a heritage designation. Cruz and Tangos is like a significant part of like the Church of Wellesley community, a significant part of, like, of the gay neighborhood here. The bar has served as a pillar of queer culture for nearly three decades, but that could one day change as the land has been purchased by a developer who plans on building a 14-story condo. If you build a building on top of another one or it, like introduce it into a new area, you want to make sure that it fits the thing people are used to. The heritage should be preserved. It, it, it brings life to the neighborhood. When Greywood released the mock-ups of the site two years ago, many in the village were worried that Cruz and Tangos was in jeopardy, as well as neighboring boutique bar. As you can see in the plan, Greywood has a place for Cruz. Despite the heritage designation, though, specifics on what will change are unclear. According to a city staff report, these houses were originally constructed between 1856 to 1858 as part of a row of six residences. Ron Stagg is a history professor with Toronto Metropolitan University. He says these types of homes were common in the late 1800s, but are becoming a rare sight in the area today. You'll find them particularly in uh, the um, sort of midtown area. But a lot of them have been torn down because, of course, downtown is now uh, very commercial. Kristen Wong Tam, who served as an area councillor but is now a candidate in the upcoming provincial election, says the heritage designation provides city council more say in future construction at the site. Because it allows city council now to negotiate the, the development application with the, uh, the applicant. So the applicant has already made a commitment to retain uh, the buildings. City News reached out to Greywood for an update on the construction plans. In a statement, the developer says in part, we maintain an active positive relationship with Cruz and Tangos, as well as the other businesses on site. And we're pleased to announce that Cruz and Tangos lease has once again been extended until at least 2023. I know we've lost a few of uh, like our flagship institutions and bars because of condo development around this neighborhood and it would be really unfortunate to see us lose this strip because there's so few spaces left in the city for queer people. There's no firm date yet for construction to start. The City of Toronto is still reviewing Greywood's development application. For City News, I'm Quinta Bignall.